Now, talking about our special guest, I mentioned her two or three times before the opener there. Anna Gare is here today as a special guest. Welcome to the couch. Thank you. Very comfortable couch too. Fantastic to have you back here in your home state in Perth. That's correct. Yes. How often, Anna, are you away from Perth? Well, quite a lot. When um, we filmed Junior MasterChef, I live in Sydney for about three months. Um, and it, it's quite a different existence to, you know, my husband and I have four kids between us, um, two of my own, and I got two for free, mm. so that was lovely. It's not bad. Um, so it's like the Brady Bunch. <laughs> so our house is, you know, pretty busy with four teenagers and everything. And then I go over to Sydney and I shoot Junior MasterChef and I stay in a hotel room with a lovely little mini bar and I can call up. I'd just like some room service, thanks. It's just how, fantastic. How does this compare to your dream? I mean, obviously you didn't start as a junior master chef judge. How did you start your career? Why, why did you get into it all? Um, well, I've always loved food. I was the youngest of four children and I was always trying to keep up with them and um, always trying to attract their attention so they'd come and play with me. They used to run away from me. And once I learned to sort of find my way around the pantry and conjure up beautiful food out of sweet things, mm -hmm. I realised I could have all of my brothers and sisters kissing my feet and, um, you know, doing anything to lick the spoon or the beater. And I just loved making food back then and always thought that when I grew up I'd, I'd have a restaurant or something. But at the age of 12 and a half, mm -hmm. um, desperately wanting to be 13, I started a... Um, all girl band with a few friends. We started it all together. How did that go? That was great. We we're called the Jam Tarts, but we ended up going for ten <laughs> years. We ended up going for ten do, whole do we years. Were you a singer or? Uh, yeah, singer. We were all singers. Four, four girls, four part harmony. Do you remember your first song? Yeah, we. How did it our go? very first song that we did was, what was it? Um, Ukulele Lady. How does that go? I'm not going to sing for you today. <laughs> Damn. I will cook for you, though. Okay. I will cook for you. So you but moved on from the music? Well, always played music and yeah. um, to support, played in the band for 10, 12 years and um, to support my rock and roll lifestyle, worked in restaurants, always oh, wow. loved food and worked in restaurants along the way. And um, then after the band sort of uh, finished up, I worked in restaurants more, then baked a few children of my own and then formed, a, accidentally actually formed a catering company and I ran that um, hands-on, you know, I was one of the team players for um, 12 years. So when did your, your career in the media start? Is that just a recent thing? Um, no, well, I was, when I was, ha when I had young children, I worked backstage um, for Ian Palmenter. Okay, I was I used ABC. to do all the shopping, prepare all the dishes he prepared earlier and have everything ready for Ian to do his show at the ABC. That's the thing that nobody ever knows because no. I know on the circle someone prepares the meals yeah. backstage and brings to it To the out. different stages so you mm. can just keep shooting. He was an amazing person to work for and he always said to me, you know, Anna, with your talent from, you know, performing on stage and your cooking, you really should think about putting the two together and do some TV. And so, go, go oh, yeah, on. and it just sort of naturally evolved from there. I, um, I was doing catering for a wedding and yep. it just happened to be the producer out at Channel 7 and she said, oh, we're doing this show, do you, you know, a few nights a week on TV, would you like a five-minute segment? And I thought, OK, I'll try it. So I did that and then from there I got picked up by Lifestyle and done a bit on ABC and stuff on Channel 10 and now I'm, I've been with Channel Ten for a while, doing Master Chef, junior, junior Master Chef. Do you love that role? I mean, because I, I know working with children is different to adults. Is is there a preference? I prefer kids. Um, kids are mad, you know. Kids are fantastic. They're fun. I think with the kids, they're so they're so excited to be there. And you know, as you get older, you feel like you should know everything. So the adults have more to lose if they don't get it right. You know, they feel a bit embarrassed. You or... get some great kids on that show. There was one called yeah. uh, Isabella. Was that her name? Yeah, Isabella. She, she was, was, was an amazing cook. And, and they're all so young, and yet we all have families. Yeah. And you think, I wish my nephew was like that, or my niece was. Like oh, that. I've got. I came home after shooting for three months and came home and I said, right, kids, there's some steak, some veggies, um, some potatoes in the cupboard. You've got one hour. Yes. I want dinner. Well, the and they all just start. looked at me and said, talk to the hand. I'm <laughs> Facebooking. Yeah. And, I like, <laughs> and where did you yeah. meet Luke? Of course, when Luke Longley. My husband. Well, I was looking for a very tall husband you with hollow him. legs <laughs> because I love to cook and I love to feed. Yeah feed people. I've always been a feeder. And I looked all around town and then I discovered um, Luke. I actually met him at a 
Uh, he was at a bar somewhere. I, I did go yeah. to school with yes. him. Okay. And I looked over and I thought, who's that man over there standing on a chair? <laughs> and um, <laughs> oh, it's jokes. It was Luke. Um, and I, I had been looking for a, a tall, long-legged, hollow-legged husband that I could feed up, and he just happened to be. We happened to, yeah. Is it Get hard? Together. Is it hard being so busy? Like, people, I always sit back and think, I wonder if they ever see each other, because you're always about working, he's always doing something. How hard is it to keep that, that relationship and family going? Well, it keeps it really nice and fresh. Um, yeah, I think, I mean, I love him even more when I'm away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> no, he, he's an amazing man and he's had a, a huge, extraordinary career playing with the Chicago mm. Bulls and, and doing that for so many years. And um, I was fortunate enough to meet someone like him who said to me, OK, Anna, I'm in your corner. I like the way he speaks. It's all kind of sporty. Mm. I'm in your corner now. You're right. Why don't you just go out there and take this job and, and go for it? I'll look after the home Excellent. and the kids. So Fantastic. I was really, really lucky... Um, to be able to do that with his his um, tick, yeah, his tick and support. I asked him and Elsie when I was offered. Elsie's my youngest, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, she might be a bit difficult about me going away. And I thought I'll check with Luke and Elsie, and they both said, "You got all the kids said you got to do it, Mum. You got to do it." Why do you think the success? I know Ma you've had a lot of TV shows with lifestyle, mm. etc. Master Chef was the biggest one. Why do you think Master Chef, and especially Junior Master Chef for you, why is it so big? I think that, um, well, I think the whole cooking theme uh, um, came alive in Australia. I think Jamie Oliver was a really amazing influence on food, mm. particularly with young boys and men. You know, he made it look easy, he's such a geezer, and the way he communicates about food is really exciting. Mm. It's quite infectious. So I think he sort of started a big trend amongst people who weren't normally foodies. And then we started having more TV show, cooking shows. And then MasterChef came up. And it's just such a great close-up look on the generations, you know, the, the young adults going through doing the show and how they cope with pressure. And, and it's just, you know, people love a bit of reality and they love food. And um, I think that's why it's been so popular. And it's so, it is so beautifully mm, and cleverly sure. put together, all the... All the work behind the scenes is incredible. And with the kids, it was all about the kids having fun. Mm. And, you know, they were living their dream. They loved the show. They couldn't believe they were on it. They have to jump through hoops to get on the show because thousands of kids want to get on. Yep. And so they're just so glad to be there and they're cooking their little hearts out. Amazing. It's Amazing. a really so. great environment. Are you doing it again? Is that likely to well, come Well, we back? never know. You know, everything always depends on ratings. Um, I'd like to think so. I'm sure it will be back one day by popular demand. If there was something you would you could do right now in the media, apart from MasterChef, yeah. what would you do? What would you really love to call your your number one job if you could get it? Um, I'd like to do um, my number one job. I do love working with kids. Because I've heard you on radio as well on Mix 94.5 oh, a right, couple of times. Oh, right, yeah. Quite like a bit of radio. Yeah, you, you were quite good. forget that everybody's out there. Except I'm not... I'm, I talk over people all the time. That's a Don't we problem. all? Um, <laughs> Um, what would I like to do? I don't know. I've always had a dream to make... Politics? Would you like to get into the media and, and do politics? Or would you like oh, to stay look, with cooking? Oh, look, I support... I'm a little bit political. I support... Oh, you know, I've got my hand out there for saving our marine life and all, all good things in life. And um, politics, not really. You know, I, I don't mind standing up for what I believe in, but I think Would you like to have your own boring. cooking show, like the Ian... Well, um, Hewitson and stuff like that? I have done a few cooking shows, as you know, and I had one called Quickies in yep. my kitchen where I um, had... Um, my husband never liked that title, I don't know why, <laughs> but I had celebrity guests come in and I'd cook and interview them at the same time, which was a bit like... I was a bit worried I was going to end up marinating the guest and talking to the chicken. <laughs> it's a bit like, you know... Um, but it was really, it was really good fun. So I've always done cooking shows with other people. I did the one with the best in Australia. Mm -hmm. with that was Darren excellent. Ben. On I'd really like to do my own show, and I'm going to do that in July. And I haven't taken it to any TV stations. I'm doing it myself because awesome. I want it to be me. And you know, I'm planning on wearing my feather boa in the kitchen and stuff as I normally do. Be you. And um, it's a romance cooking show. Beautiful. Maybe yeah. you can tell me more about that when we hit to the kitchen. Yeah. Let me just quickly plug your book because we'll talk about it more when we go to the kitchen. But this is your new book. It's out now? It is. It's called Homemade and it was all photographed, um, shot 
eaten prepared in my home. So here in Perth, it's true to its name. Fantastic. Anna Gear is our master chef in the kitchen today. She's our judge on the TV show, but she'll be our master chef here today. We're going to take a break on the couch, but Anna and I will meet you over there in the kitchen right after this.